Hello, you car. Peter Christensen here, coming to you from the CEO's desk. Going to talk about the short term lease back addendum. So that's Form 76, UAR Form 76. So this, of course, is where seller wants to stay in the property for uh, a little time after uh, settlement, after closing, after the buyer's taken legal possession of the property. And so we've got a great form. Yeah, this happens. Need to stay a couple weeks. And uh, this is a great form for that. There is one big misunderstanding we keep having with this form. As a matter of fact, there will be changes to this form coming shortly in the format, not in the concept. So I want to talk about the concept today. And it has to do with utilities. It's section three of that form where you have some check boxes there. Well, anytime you have a choice in a contract, the attorneys love to put a default in because we're always thinking, what happens if somebody doesn't check one of the boxes? What happens if somebody forgets something? And uh, so there's got to be a default. So just know that the default is that the seller will pay the utilities. So that's how it is now in the current form. That's how it will be in the new format. And when that comes out, we'll, uh, we'll do a video to talk about uh, the different format and maybe a few additional check boxes. Uh, so we'll get into that as we see that released. But for now, as you use this and, and just understand this, that any contract, when you look at choices, especially if it has a check here, if this wants to happen, look at what the default is. What happens if somebody does not check one of these boxes? Because a good contract, a good form will always have a backup for if there's a mistake made and somebody doesn't check something that there's default language. And uh, it's really an important, I think, part of drafting a form and contract is to have that because I, I preach this all the time. What do we not like in contracts? Ambiguity, right? We want certainty. We want it known what is happening. So section three, just know that the default is that the seller will be responsible for the utility charges unless otherwise specified in the contract, unless it's checked in some way to say now buyer indicating buyer you're going to handle it so if nothing gets checked the default is seller so just know that going into it i know uh this has been a little confusing for some agents and uh understandable uh, not understanding that hey and and it's written it's written a little it, it is a little confusing i think and i think that's why uh, a fix will be made in the short in the short in the near future i should say so, but just understand that concept and always look for what's the default here and understand that so that you know going into it, you can spot that. But uh, we don't want you to have to pick up any utility charges um, as a listing agent to cover for your seller because you misunderstood. It happens, but uh, just know, seller by default unless otherwise indicated. Remember, this is not legal advice. This is legal information only. If you need specific legal advice, please contact your attorney. Thanks for tuning in. Let us know if uh, there's a, t a topic you want us to cover. Throw a comment in. We're happy to cover it. Thanks.